Question number 12 says a certain light truck can go around a flat curve having a radius of 150 meters with a maximum speed of 30.5 meters per second. What is the maximum speed, with what maximum speed can it go around a curve having a radius of 85.5 meters? And so what we have here is that the, 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 the force, so it's saying that the maximum force being put on, on this truck that it can handle is, is, is calculated by the mass times the acceleration. Well, we don't know the mass. Uh, of the exact of this truck, but we're just going to call the mass one truck. So the mass is one truck. So the acceleration times one truck is our force, and our our units of force will be in trucks trucks times uh, meters per second squared. And so I hope you can tell where we're getting with this. Uh, it doesn't matter what our mass is. We, we're making up a mass unit and we're making up a force unit in, in order to compare two forces. So, so we, we're saying that, the, that it can go around a certain curve with a maximum speed because of the force being put on the truck. Well, at the same time, it can go around another different size curve at a different speed because the force is the same. So we're saying that F1, uh, the force of the first uh, track equals the force of the second one. And so that means that the acceleration, since the masses stay the same, they cancel out. And so we, we don't really care what the masses are. So the acceleration of these different of these different curves have to equal the same thing. And so we can set it up to say the centripetal acceleration of the first one so our v squared v1 squared over r1 equals v2 squared over r2 and so we're saying that the acceleration that this truck can travel has to be the same the same centripetal acceleration and so we just plug in our values um, the the first curve was was 30.5 squared over the radius of 150 meters and that has to equal v2 squared over the radius of 85.5 meters. And so now I have it set up for you. If you get it and you intuitively understand it, great. And before I solve this and give the final answer, I'm going to show you basically what's, what's happening graphically. So you have this curve here. Uh, actually, let's start with a wider curve. So you have this curve here, and, and, and a truck can go around this curve it says at 30 at 30.5 meters per second and then there's another curve that's really tight really tight and so how fast can the truck go around this curve and so the fastest it can go around this curve over here uh, the fastest it can go over without flipping over is 30.5 so what's the fastest it can go over on on this curve and the answer to that um, is that the forces have to equal the same and since the masses are the same in both in both situations the truck's mass doesn't change uh, the the acceleration the the centripetal accelerations have to equal the same and so we can set it up with the centripetal acceleration of um, of the of the first one over the radius of the first one equals the centripetal acceleration. So the centripetal acceleration is given by the formula of the velocity squared over radius. So the velocity of the second one squared over the radius of the second one. And so by solving for v, you, you, can, um, you can basically just know how fast you can go around the second curve. So that's what we're going to do. So 30.5 squared is, I'm, I'm going to move this up here, so 30.5 squared is 930.25, and that's divided by 150, and so I'm also going to multiply 85 to this side, so 85.5 times, times 930.25 divided by 150. And so what we have is that V squared equals 530 0.24, and so we got to take the square root of both sides, and we get that v equals 23, and that's meters per second. So this truck can go around that second curve at 23 meters per second, 
uh, and he can go around the wider curve at 30.5 meters per second.